This vlog is definitely going to be a very sit down and chill kind of vlog. So I would definitely grab yourself something to drink, maybe a snack and get comfortable because we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me again if you're new here then my name is mariah and this is my life so i woke up this morning of course to aunt flo yes yeah, she showed her graceful face and i am definitely feeling all parts of it today i'm in a lot of pain today i had like a really terrible headache last night the cramps are just not fun either but i kind of just wanted to let you guys know what's up with me i know my hair is a mess i literally just got out of bed so that's why i look this way but this morning i woke up and not only did i wake up to a new cycle i woke up to realizing that in exactly two days my angel baby's due date is coming up or our angel baby's due date is coming up it's my third angel and jeremy's first and it's just i don't even know how to feel other than feeling like it's sad in these next couple of days maybe really rough and I'm trying to mentally prepare for them because I don't want the emotions to suddenly creep up on me and hit me so I'm trying to I'm trying to get prepared for it I also have a therapy session scheduled for tomorrow that was already scheduled before I didn't even think about the dates when I scheduled it I just got the first available appointment and it happened to be tomorrow's which is the day before so I'm meeting with a new therapist. It's one-on-one -on -one therapy, which I think will be good for me. I really want to work one-on-one -on -one with a therapist on just all of the reproductive trauma I've been through in my life. So I'm hoping that this person will be able to help me with that. I think it's also hitting me too because as most of you know, I had back-to-back -back miscarriages. So my third angel baby's due date is in two days on August 29th. And then my fourth angel baby's due date would have been right around September 25th. So it's just a lot in a very short amount of time. I'm just really trying to sort out my emotions this week and kind of figure out what I want to do and how I'm going to handle it and how I want to handle it. So that's kind of where I'm at this morning. Physically, I feel like crap, so I'm going to have a really chill and relaxing day. I might just go and run and get a few items that might make me feel better from the store today, but it's going to be pretty chill. I think overall this week is going to be pretty chill, but I know I said I'd be opening up more of my life to you guys, and this is also part of that, so... I'm just gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. I am going to go ahead and run a nice hot bath, do my morning meditation, and try to get myself together so that I can run to the store. Okay guys, so I finally got myself together. I had a nice milk bath with some Epsom salt in it. Both were lavender, so it was really relaxing, and now I'm feeling slightly better than I did earlier this morning. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run out to Walmart so I can pick up a few things that I need for this week. And I wanna go ahead and do that before these kids get out of school, cause it's like almost time for children up here to get out of school, and I wanna do it before it gets super crowded in there. Come on, puppies. Come on. Charlie, come on. Come on, in. Good boy. Look at all these cars. Why is it always so busy in here? Can I just get a day where no one wants to go to Wally World? overall like a bad trip it wasn't cr super crazy or like busy in there but I basically just went so I can get some cranberry juice I wanted to get more um, herbal raspberry tea 
also need to bathe both of the dogs. Their coats are like so dirty and they haven't gotten a bath in at least a couple weeks. So I definitely want to give both of them a bath this week, but I need to wait for it to cool off. I'm sure they'll hate me for that later on in the week. I like to use this Arm & Hammer shampoo because it has baking soda already in it and it does a good job of getting the little stink out of both the dogs. Then I'm going to try this Oyster um, or Oster shed control shampoo because y'all saw in that cleaning video my dogs do shed a lot and we have a lot of lingering dog hair around this house so plus i need to give them a bath too before we drop them off at the kennel because we're going to six flags this weekend so they definitely need to get bathed before they go there i'm kind of hungry so i think i might get some tuna macaroni salad and i got a few videos to edit so i'm probably gonna go do that as well and try to be productive with the rest of this day my dogs are just now going crazy because I heard someone on the front step and I think it's the delivery dude or the postman. Oh, sure enough, got a package. It should be light enough to carry. Yep. Actually, let me take it right into the office. Pretty sure that this is my protein drink and my ubiquinol and my soft disc. Sure enough, it sure enough is. This thing is as big as my head. Look at that. But this is the protein drink that I'm going, I tried it out before and I liked it because it doesn't taste like watery. You can mix it with water, but it has like a very creamy taste to it in its way. So this is the one, it's called Extend. It is their chocolate lava cake, which tastes really, really good. So I got that. And then I have, oh no. I think this got too hot. I might have to send this back. Might be sending this back. Uh, I think my ubiquinol may have melted. And it's all sticking together. Okay, maybe not. Maybe if I just beat it hard enough. Don't get any ideas. Jesus. Well, I tried, but I think that ubiquinol is for the most part, the majority of it is some that's loose in here, but the majority of it is stuck together. So now I'm gonna have to send this back to Amazon so they can send me a new one, unfortunately, because yeah, how am I gonna get the rest of them out if they're all stuck together? One thing I will try to do before I send them back is I'll try to put them in the refrigerator for a little bit in hopes that they will separate when they're not as like sticky and soft hopefully they'll be able to separate again if not i'm sending these bad boys back okay so i put that ubiquinol in the fridge thinking that it might help it i don't know help them fall apart or something to that effect but i'm gonna go back for the second time it loosened some of them up but not all of them i still have a huge clump of them in here basically i went ahead and contacted amazon and told them that i would like a replacement because i still want the item i don't want a refund i just want some ubiquinol that's not molded together anyway jeremy's home now so we are going to try to figure out what we want to do for the rest of the night we're probably going to play a game and oh we also have an episode of 90 day fiance the other way dvr so we're probably going to watch that too but i need to see what game we're going to play this is our game slash storage closet so i'm trying to see what i think we want to play we'll see what he wants to play when he gets done getting changed so jeremy decided that he wants to play connect four which basically means that he just wants to lose i'm gonna lose <laughs> He wins. Think positive, think positive, think positive. <laughs> I'm positive win. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> you win about, what did you say, 5% of the time? Uh, 
maybe more like 10. I would say I can have a tendency to win it. One out of every 10 games, I think, is probably a fair number. You ready? I am ready. You first. So all I have to do is turn on the camera and you suddenly start thinking harder. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The, yeah, I'm the starting. threat of getting I'm imminently defeated? Thinking the camera had something to do with me winning. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I win! Congratulations, uh, oh. almost ate the coin. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is the next morning and I am on my way to go to my individual therapy session. Uh, I'm running a little bit behind this morning, which I hate that I'm running behind, but it is what it is. I have a two-hour session since it's an intake appointment, so we will see how that goes. The biggest problem with going there is finding parking. It takes me at least like 10 to 15 minutes to find parking almost every time, but hopefully Jesus will make a way and I will only be like two to five minutes late we shall see i'm really hoping that when i meet this therapist this morning that we just connect because going and finding a new therapist is just not necessarily like ideal for me i don't really want to hunt for a new therapist to be quite honest but if I if that's what it comes down to and that's what I have to do then that's what I have to do but fingers crossed me in this one just click and mesh and she can help me work on the things that I would like to work on but yeah I will see you guys when I come out of the session and tell you how it went oh my lord Jesus well I am done with my appointment trying to get myself together before I drive because of course I done cried a lot of tears in that appointment and I feel like overall we're just gonna have to fill each other out over the next few weeks she seemed like she kind of gets me as a person it was just really hard for that intake appointment because you have to talk about basically all of the trauma and past experiences and catch this person up to speed on everything it was just a lot it was just a lot to just sit there and do that and it brings back all the feelings every time you have to talk about it that's when it brings back feelings the absolute most so that was just really 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 hard and i wasn't exactly particularly looking forward to that part of it but i'm looking forward to getting the help that i need that's the piece of it that i want overall to just get the help that i need and working through things you know losses never get easier and they don't go away i feel like you carry them with you for the rest of your life but what i want to really work on is how i'm carrying them because let me tell y'all i am good most days but when it hits me it hits me hard and it is really rough because even though i have all of your support and family support it's rough to not sometimes just feel alone and trapped in your own feelings and your own emotions so and she did say that with the due date being tomorrow and then me having another one coming up right away next month i am going to be more prone to just feel crappy and i am going to be more emotional than i normally am and i'm just might feel a little bit more down than i normally do and those are all very normal things because dates typically hold such significance for us as human beings anyway so it was like good for me to hear that this is as sad as it is it's normal for me to feel how i feel because it's reassuring for me that like i'm not just some crazy person this past year has definitely impacted me in such a way that has made me more of an emotional person because I wouldn't really say that before all this I, I wasn't really an emotional person but I just really want to work on just confronting all of these traumas that have occurred in my life and when my emotions creep up I don't want those emotions running me I want to be able to take control over them I know sometimes you can't control when emotions creep up inside of you but I really just like I said overall I think I just want to be able to 
control how I carry these things and decide which things I want to let go and which things I can let go of and the other things that are just stuck with me for a lifetime I just want to be able to dictate and narrate how exactly I'm going to carry those things with me and that's really just for myself so that I can just reach my full threshold of happiness because I think it's really hard when you feel like you have so much weight on you to reach that pinnacle point of happiness so yeah that's where I'm at right now so hopefully like I said I seem to have like a good conversation with this therapist so hopefully it continues throughout the next few weeks and we can see if we're gonna be a good match but yeah it was definitely good to get a cry out today I'm pretty sure I'm not done with crying for the day but it was good so I am gonna go ahead and head home now to edit some videos for you guys and and yeah so I will talk to you guys later hey guys i figured i would hop back on here so it's the due date and i have been sitting in bed all morning i have not moved all in afternoon for that matter it's like somewhere between one and two o'clock and the only thing i've done today is let my dogs out to go to the bathroom and taken a shower but other than that i've pretty much just stayed in the bed all day i have like no desire or motivation to really do anything and I don't know I just feel weird today it's the only way I can describe it I feel like I'm so numb right now and I said this in an Instagram post that I did that if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see it's a strange feeling and you it's so hard to describe because you feel incredibly numb yet so overwhelmed with your emotions at the same time it's like all of the emotions are like trapped in the pit of my stomach right now I don't know it's freaking it's just weird you just can't help but think like I was supposed to be on someone's labor and delivery ward today I was supposed to be this was supposed to be that magical day where I was would have been meeting my baby in it's it sucks because that's not my reality right now and there's a certain level of emptiness that you just feel and it's definitely amplified today yeah, that's like kind of where i'm at i think it's a really good thing that we're taking a trip this weekend i think that it'll help me kind of or us in general just get out and spend time together and kind of take my mind off things a little bit i mean it never fully goes away because I'm the type of person I can keep my mind preoccupied all day long and then as soon as I lay down or relax or go to bed like my mind will go there again so it's just it's one of those kind of things that I just have to ride the ride all the way through and I know that I will not get over it but I'll get past these feelings or the current like emotional state that I'm in right now but it's definitely hard it's it's rough so i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to get moving today because <laughs> i don't want to just lay and wallow in this bed all day i definitely need to get some nutrition in my system because i haven't eaten anything today or drank anything for that matter yet so i need to do that and my dogs definitely need a bath so i'm gonna do that and i guess i should start packing for this weekend too so so yeah, I'm gonna get moving. <clears throat> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Might have caught the June blues Yeah, I wanna Drown myself inside the juice Yeah, you know I Keep on running from the truth Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you Now when I drive around, don't feel it all Why it's getting colder 
dog is so done with me right now. Look at his face. You almost done though. See, this is what I do when I get a bath. Every time I just sit there and pout. All done. Yeah, you're all done. You're happy now because you're all done. You want to go out? Go ahead. And then he tears around the yard. <laughs> real quick because my camera is about to die but Jeremy's home now so we're just gonna eat dinner and we rented two movies so we rented Rocket Man the Elton John story and we also rented Godzilla so tonight we're just gonna chill out watch those movies snuggle up we're definitely gonna pack for our trip this weekend we're just taking a quick trip over to Jersey go to Hurricane Harbor and also go to a family cookout so both of those things should be fun and I'm looking forward to well we're both looking forward to our getaway for this weekend I really appreciate all of you guys sticking around to watch this video and just hearing me out and just really understanding and seeing like what I'm going through. I told you guys that I would share everything and whether it's a good thing or a not so good thing and this is one of the not so good things but it's it's the reality of what I'm dealing with and what I'm going through and I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about this in a like sit down type of video but I definitely wanted to hop on here and share with you guys kind of what this week has been like and what kind of headspace I've been in and what I've been feeling emotionally so I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me and always being so supportive and understanding. That's it for this vlog so of course you already know what to do go ahead and hit that like button leave me some love in the comment section down below. I really genuinely hope you all are having an amazing and wonderful week. I hope whatever is going on in your life right now is working out well for you. And if not, just know that you guys are always in my thoughts and my prayers. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.